Hey everybody, my name is Abigail and I am a wedding videographer in Maryland and for the past two years I've also been coordinating styled shoots. I wanted to put together a video for some of the styled shoot best practices after getting a lot of questions about it. When I did my first styled shoot in 2018, it was with another group of people, and I kind of just assumed that only photographers and planners could do styled shoots. I don't know what gave me that impression, but I'm here to tell you that is so not true. Any creative, any wedding pro can put together a styled shoot. They are so much fun and there are so many benefits to them. So here I am today to tell you a little bit more of how to get started. If you have never attended a styled shoot before, I definitely recommend looking into some opportunities in your area to do that before you start your own. Um, depending on what role you play that's sometimes easier than other times um, if you are a photographer a lot of style shoots are for-profit style shoots meaning that you would have to pay for a ticket to go and join one but the first style shoot that I actually coordinated I just reached out to a photographer friend of mine and said hey I have this pretty thing that I want to shoot do you just want to do it with me and it was a super small team and it was super easy so if you feel like you don't have opportunities to jump into someone else's style shoot just plan your own and then once you start planning your own you know we're gonna go over or how to get bigger and better every time. One of the first things I recommend thinking about when you are planning a styled shoot is whether you're gonna do this shoot for profit or not for profit. Essentially all that means is are you gonna invite photographers and videographers onto the project to also shoot beside you um, for a ticket price? If there's one exclusive photographer, then likely it will not be for profit. And when you're first starting out, I definitely recommend doing many, many not for profit styled shoots first before you ever think about trying to make money off of them. Whatever role you might be playing, you can also take on the coordination and the styling of the shoot, but if you'd rather outsource that, definitely consider bringing on a planner or a stylist or a designer to make it super pretty. Once you've got some ideas, you definitely want to make a mood board or a vision board, which is basically just a collage of pictures to show people what kind of theme, style, color you're going for. You've definitely seen these on Pinterest before. You've definitely seen these on Instagram before. Super not hard. Um, and this is mainly just to show vendors who might want to come onto the shoot, like what you're doing, what it's going to look like, what your vision is, so that they can get an idea of whether or not that's going to fit their style as well. The second thing I want you to think about is vendors, who you're inviting onto the shoot. A lot of styled shoots are done sort of as a courtesy in the wedding industry, meaning that people aren't expecting you to pay them to be a part of it. But that's not always the case, so you definitely want to be very clear and transparent about that once you're getting started. I think people get really nervous to ask vendors to be a part of styled shoots, especially under the premise that they're doing it for free. But it is so much easier than you think, and the worst thing that can happen is that that person will say no, and then you can just move on and find somebody else. A lot of people, especially when there's some downtime or in the off season, really want to be a part of styled shoots because it gives them content, it gives them something to do, but we'll talk about the rest of all the benefits later. I have done a mix of things when inviting vendors onto styled shoots. I've reached out to friends of mine who I know might be interested. I've reached out to the biggest, baddest names in the industry, hoping that they'll want to be a part of it. And sometimes they do. So it's really up to you who you're going to invite on, but it doesn't hurt to have more of a strategic plan of who you're going to ask first. And then if they say no, what's your next move? The coordination part of coordinating a styled shoot really is mostly in the beginning. It's getting all of your vendors on board, keeping track of them, and making sure everyone knows the nuts and bolts of the shoot. So I always recommend creating some kind of spreadsheet, Word document, something that's going to keep you totally straight. Here's an example of a spreadsheet I would make when doing a styled shoot. I make sure to include what they're contributing, their name, their business name, and then all the contact information I might need, especially their Instagram handle and if they are coming to the shoot if they're mailing items if they're dropping off items or if I need to pick them up this leads me right into number three which is communication the most important part of a styled shoot is that everyone knows what the heck is going on and you may be in charge of that so you want to make sure that you got all your ducks in a row I email all of my vendors once my team is compiled and I say hey Here's everybody we're working with. I'm so excited. Here's the date, the time, the address. And then I let them know that, you know, depending on how far out the shoot is, I'm gonna be working on a timeline and the other specific instructions. And I will get back in touch with them as soon as all of that is totally nailed down. As we get closer to the shoot, I like to send another email. I also like to send them a list of all the Instagram handles that are copy and pasteable. So it is super easy for people to tag all of the vendors that are a part of the shoot. 
If you're working at a venue that has tricky parking or some kind of special instructions on where the vendors need to go, you should definitely include that in an email. Another thing I always think about if I'm planning a full day shoot is a meal. Just like on a wedding day, we need to stay fed, stay focused, keep going, keep our energy up, and it's no different on a styled shoot day. So if you're planning a styled shoot day that is six hours, you might wanna think about what you're gonna do for lunch. As a courtesy, I like to buy lunch for all of my vendors, especially if they're donating all of their services and time. Um, it's up to you whether or not you wanna do that. You can just have people pack a lunch. Um, if you're at a venue where there's a cafe nearby or something like that, that might be another really good option. But definitely think about that before you're five hours into a shoot and you're all starving and cranky. The fourth thing I wanna talk about is diversity in style shoots. For the first year or so, I didn't really think about this. I took whoever I could get, and a lot of times it's like that when you're first starting out. But I would encourage you to really sit down and think about how you can incorporate diversity and representation into your styled shoots. That goes for your models, but it should also go for your vendors. I've gotten a lot more conscious of making sure that I've got people on my team, models and vendors that are LGBTQ+, that are people of color, that are plus size, especially if you're doing a styled shoot with the hope of getting published, I really encourage you to really, really think about what kind of bodies and people are being represented through your work and through the wedding industry. The last thing I wanna talk about in this video is really just the benefits of styled shoots. This is a time to showcase your work and also to experiment and try new things. One thing I like to do is ask the vendors I'm bringing on board if there's a particular skill, item, service that they really wanna showcase through this styled shoot. Especially if you are building a brand or you are thinking about a particular ideal client you want to showcase to, you wanna think about what skills you can use in this styled shoot to show off to make sure that everyone knows that you can do it and you can do it well. If you're a photographer or a videographer, this is an awesome time to try new lenses, new lighting, any kind of experimentation things that you'd be too afraid to try on a wedding day in case it didn't work out, this is now the time. Style shoots have been a huge way that I've grown my business in the past two years. Even when I'm doing most of my style shoots not for profit, this is an excellent time to network with other vendors, especially if you're working with a lot of vendors or a long day, you're stuck at the venue together for a few hours getting to know each other and getting to know how they work. Uh, it's just such an awesome way to get to know people. In addition to that, when you're posting on Facebook and Instagram and blogging, you're tagging all of those vendors in every post. So if you're taking part in a style shoot, you're gonna get tagged on that photo over and over and over again and people are gonna A, recognize your name, and B, the next time they need a blank, fill in the blank here, they'll go, oh, well, that other vendor I followed just did a shoot with this person, and I bet they're great. Overall, I want you to keep in mind that style shoots are supposed to be fun. So if you're hating it, then maybe it's not the right move for you. Some people love style shoots, some people hate them, but I definitely recommend giving them a try if you haven't yet. Again, it is a huge, huge way that I've grown my business, a huge way that I've grown my network, and it creates amazing content, especially if you're gonna be the one coordinating and styling. You get to make this look like whatever you want, so you can make it whatever you think would fit your feed, your style, your ideal client you've got total creative control so if there's something that you've been dying to try out now is the time I really hope that this helped I'm super excited to see what you create and if you have any questions my DMS are totally open I would love to help you plan your first style shoot